So that was simple. Let's do another example. Now in this case, as we discussed this circuit earlier also, that this voltage source is connected directly to the ref, uh, ground port or reference port. Therefore, this will not form part of the super node. But this is, this 3 volt is between two non-reference nodes. Therefore, this will form the super node. So, this is the super node. We, we make a big dot and as we have learned, we will write the KCL equation again. So, we take a current directions arbitrarily. You can take anyway. I have taken I1 entering, I2 leaving, I3 leaving and I4 leaving. So, the KCL equation is I1 entry equal to I2 plus I3 plus I4. Converting in terms of voltage, now I1 is going from 0 to V1, so 0 minus V1 and this battery is also in the same direction, the current from the battery is in the same direction as the main current, therefore this will be added, so plus 7 divided by the resistance 4. I2 is going from V1 to 0, so we just write V1 ignoring 0, so v, uh, VA sorry, so VA divided by the resistance of 3 ohm, so VA divided by 3 ohms. Similarly, I3 is VB divided by 2 ohms and similarly I4 is VB divided by 6 ohms. So Vb divided by 2 ohms plus Vb divided by 6 ohm. Now we will follow the same technique. What is the LCM here? You can see that the LCM is 12. So we multiply everything by 12 and then we simplify. So you can cut 4 and 12 and 3 and 12 and 2 and 12 and 6 and 12. So the simplified form will look like this. So <coughs> after cutting this becomes 3, so 3 times VA, negative 3 VA, 3 times 7 is 21, same way all this. So this is uh, the equation, equating the like terms, uh, we get equation number 1. Now KVL, so we have taken this as VA and this is VB, so we start from this corner, so negative VA, negative 3V, 3 volt, positive VB. So negative VA, negative 3, positive VB equal to 0 or the other method that we learn, VA minus VB and the current direction is same, so plus 3, so VA minus VB and plus 3 equal to 0. We will get the same result uh, by any technique that you Now these are the two equations. How to solve them? Well, if you multiply this equation by 7, then both will be 7 and we can eliminate these terms. So that is what has been done here. So multiplying uh, equation number 2 by 7, it becomes negative 7 VA plus 7 VB plus 21 and now if we compare these two adding 1 and 2 we get 15 VB equals 42 or VB will be sorry it is missing here it should be VB here VB will be 42 over 15 or equals 2.8 volt. Now putting the value of VB in equation number 2, we can get VA to be 0 0.2 volt. So VB is 2.8 volt and VA is negative 0 0.2 volt.
Now, in the question, it is asked to find this V. This V. And also to find this current. Okay? So what is this V? We have taken VA as the voltage at this point. It is the same voltage across this. So VA and V are same. Therefore we can write that V is equal to VA is equal to 0 0.2 volt which we got here. So this is the first answer. The second answer he wants is I. We had already written the equation for I which is VB divided by 2 ohm. So I is VB divided by 2 ohm. Now we have found VB to be 2.8. So 2.8 divided by 2 is 1.4 ampere. 